Now to our special report, hate at home. The number of hate groups in America and even here in Colorado has grown. Reporter Andy Cohen talking with local civil rights leaders about a pair of high profile hate crimes in the Springs and the push to bring people together instead of allowing these acts to divide us. Last June, a sticker defaced the Chabad Lubavitch in Rock Ribbon. Springs police investigated the case as a hate crime and later arrested William Planer, a reported member of the Golden State Skinheads, in August, swastikas were spray painted on the marquee sign at Temple Beit Torah. The two incidents prompted this rally against hate. Rabbi Jay Sherwood moved to Colorado Springs that summer. On the one hand, I thought, well, I guess Colorado Springs has the same problems that everyone else has. On the other hand, I thought, it's really sad that Colorado Springs has the same problems that everyone else has. He now serves on the city's Human Relations Commission and says it's important to call attention to acts of hatred. I think a lot of people don't pay attention because we've become numb to it. The Southern Poverty Law Center reports participation in hate groups is growing across America. And Colorado is no exception. The SPLC says there are 21 active hate groups here, the most in our state since they began tracking the numbers. Three groups on the list call Colorado Springs home. Anti-Semitism specifically is on the rise according to the Anti-Defamation League. In 2015, we measured 18 incidents that had occurred with anti-Semitism involved. In 2016, the campaign year and election year, it went to 45. In 2017, it went to 57. So the rate of that increase is really troubling. He believes many similar acts targeting other minorities are also going unreported. The Colorado Springs Police Department has investigated three hate crimes already this year. There were five such incidents in 2017, including the vandalism at the synagogues. But that's actually down from the 14 cases reported the previous year. When the society starts taking those lower level I, or what might be perceived as lower level items for granted, then it allows for things to progress and to get worse. The racial violence that erupted in Charlottesville last August is seen by many as a turning point in public opinion. That same month, city leaders pressured a local hotel to turn away a conference booked by the white nationalist group Vidaire. Levin at the ADL said it's important for our leaders to speak out against hatred. Stand up and say that this just doesn't isn't acceptable. And it doesn't matter whether you're the chief of police, the mayor, the governor, the president of the United States. And Rabbi Sherwood believes one of the best ways to deflate bigotry is to meet people face to face, especially if they have different opinions. Instead of relating to each other, which I think helps us learn how to talk to each other, we're learning how to talk to each other in a negative way by typing it out on a keyboard, instead of actually looking a person in the eyes and talking with them face to face. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.